Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a swatch and sip. If you're new to my channel for swatch and sip, what I like to do is just sit down and play with eyeshadows. We swatch some beautiful looking eyeshadows and we drink a little bit. No, I'm drinking, it's called a Horlicks. It's hard to explain, but it's like malt in hot milk. It's delicious, you should look it up. Uh, we had, we didn't have a snow day for work today, but I'm working virtually because we can't go into the building because it was really icy today. So it's kind of like a snow day today. So hot drink was just what I needed. Now, if you don't know the context to Swatch and Sip, basically the makeup lover, the makeup hoarder, the makeup enthusiast that I am, in the middle of the night, I just like to come in my makeup room and swatch beautiful eyeshadows. I have so many eyeshadows and I joke that I may not get to use all my eyeshadows, but part of the joy of owning an eyeshadow is swatching it. And that's what we're here to do. We just want to swatch some eyeshadows. Today, I'm just going to do my Terra Moons eyeshadows. Terra Moons, I think, is probably my favorite indie brand as far as eyeshadows go, but I'm testing out, I'm just starting Davina and Cleonad. So here's the here's the backstory. So here are some of my favorite indie shadows. Up here are all of my new ones. So this row is my Terra Moons. I'm swatching all of these today. In a separate video, I'm gonna do Davina and Cleonad for my next swatch and sip. I was gonna do all these together, but I think it's just too much. So I did wanna dedicate this video to my new Terra Moons eyeshadows because they are incredible. Um, and I have a strong devotion to Terra Moons. Now, I bought all of these for Black Friday, which I know was a really long time ago. I waited so long because I was waiting for my Davina and my Cleonad order to come and to do a giant swatch and sip, and my Cleonad did finally come like last week but then I was like mm, it's just too much so we're just gonna do Terra Moons in this video and my little spiel on indie eyeshadows versus high-end eyeshadows and luxury indie don't sleep on indie shadows they are just as good if not better than my beloved Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona especially on the shimmery metallic forefront as far as mattes I think Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath do it better, but there's something about the formula of an indie eyeshadow with their metallics, their foils, and their multichromes and duochromes that mainstream brands just can't do. So that is why the makeup enthusiast in me must suggest if you're looking for the most insane eyeshadows, you love glitter metallic-iness, you gotta go to indie. So hopefully this video will help you out Highly recommend you check out Terra Moons. I think they're the perfect mixture of a fair price as well as giving you a great formula. I like to wait for sales. That's why I got so many for Black Friday. And yeah, let's just get into it. My lights are kind of low. I don't know if you can tell, but if you think it's a bit dark, it's because I turned the lights lower so you can really see the true color of the eyeshadow. So the first shade that we have is Meteorite. And we're going to go mostly from light to dark, kind of. But these are my more white shadows. As you can see, I was playing a little bit earlier. But Meteorite looks like that. It's like a gorgeous champagne with a strong gold shift. Look, nothing has a shift like indie brands. So that one is Meteorite. Really beautiful. I'm wearing a couple Terra Moon shadows right now. I'll get to them when I get to them, but I'm also wearing a Davina shadow all over my lid, which I will put in the description box. So this next one is more of a foil. This is Wicked Rose. It is beautiful. So this is a very wearable color that I feel like so many of you would like. It's just a rose shade with a gorgeous gold shift. Uh, we've seen this color on the market, but it really is just so creamy and delicious from this brand. So the best formula you will ever try from Terra Moons, in my opinion, it's called an iridescent chameleon. And it's so hard to get the color to pick up, especially in the pan, it just looks white. But the shift is unbelievable. By the way, I know my nails are like disgustingness, but they I don't have an excuse. I always have disgusting nails. Listen, my nails, I don't know. Anyways, no excuses. My nails are just gross. So here... Trying to see if I can show you the shift. You can see this kind of has a blue, green, purple shift to it. These are why the iridescent chameleons are incredible. 
you don't really know how they're going to look until you put them on your eyes. And even now, you can't even see the amazing shift that these shadows have. Oh, you can kind of see the green pop up when I do that. There's just a lot of colors in this one. It's amazing. The next one that we have is Atlas. This is another iridescent chameleon. And again, I'm trying to get a good... No, you can't get the shift, but it has a blue shift. So I'm wearing, I'll just share with you, from Divina Cosmetics, Borealis, I believe is how you pronounce it, all over my lid. But I have this right on top to add a little extra sparkle. So I'm using this Atlas shade all over for a sparkle. This one doesn't have as much of a shift as Space Baby, but you can just see those beautiful reflex. These are hard to pick up on camera. We'll get to some ones that pick up a little bit easier. Then this one is Light Year. So you can kind of see it has a little bit of purple to it and you see a really strong yellowish tint to it. So it's all about when the light hits and when it's spread out on the skin that this is amazing. Oh my gosh, this one is, was my introduction to the iridescent chameleons. You can see that red shift there. The best formula. They're pricier, but they're so worth it. And I just, these swatches aren't even doing anything near justice to these colors. Okay, the next one that we have is Wavelength. You know I had to get some purple shades in here. This looks so beautiful. Look at that. So this one is just a really light, pretty, purpley, glittery shade. Love it. Perfect for a purple look. This one is Extra Celestial. I don't think I've swatched this one yet. I'm just appalled at my nails on this giant screen. So you can see you get a lot of color pickup and payoff from this shade. Get ready. So this one isn't one of their crazy metallic foiled shades, but it's just a solid shimmer shade. So even though it's not super glittery like the top ones, it's beautiful applied to the eyelid. I love that. I have a few more purple ones. I had to go ham in the purple section. Okay, this shade isn't a shade I would normally wear, but I had to pick it up. This is Grape Teeny, and this shade is all about the intensity. Ugh. I mean, did you see how much color you got from this shade? It's crazy. Am I being dramatic with this video? I can't help it. You guys know I love makeup, okay? So I believe this is one of their multi-chromes. This is the Looking Glass, and it looks really green right here, but in the pan, it looked really purple, like set up in the palette. So you can kind of see the shift happening as I turn my finger, and it looks so smooth on the finger. Do you see how smooth it goes onto the finger? You see that dark purpley color? Honestly, it's very, very close to the color that I'm wearing on my eyelid. So if you want the Terra Moons version of what I'm wearing on my eyelid, this would be the color. And you see now it looks super duper green, but it will look really, really purple in some lights. So Terra Moons has a really great multi-chrome formula that don't, I don't want to say that don't break the bank, but in a lot of other brands, I feel like the multi-chromes are so much more expensive. I feel like Terra Moons does a really good job of keeping them priced down. This one is Moonwalk. So you can see it has a dark blue and then a green shift to it. Really smooth on the finger, just like the last one. And I know it looks similar to the one above it, but the shift is different. It's just, it's hard to get it to show, but it's more like a deep purple blue as opposed to the one before, which is a light purple shift, if that helps at all. But <laughs> they're different, I swear. Cameras don't pick these amazing shadows up. Okay, we have this light kind of minty green here. You can see how stunning that looks in the pan. This is the shade Little Dipper. This is what it looks like on my finger. Now I know you can see they do look a little bit chunky and I will say you do get some fallout with the Terra Moons shadows, but the impact is just unlike any other. This is a beautiful highlight shade or a lid shade for a blue look. You can see it has a baby blue and gold silver shift to it, like right there. I'm just saying. And this one I'm not as crazy about. I find this one to be oddly more fall outy 
than the other ones, a little bit more flaky. This is Half Moon, but of course you know it's stunning, but she's definitely a little bit messy. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Really beautiful. I'm like, I'm running out of room. <laughs> Um, I do want to show you one of the mattes that I'm wearing on my eyelid. So this isn't a new one. This I bought a while ago. So I started my look off with Girl Next Door as the crease color. You can see peeking through. The main blue crease color that I'm wearing is Por La Noche. So this is a matte. I'm going to show you on the inside of my hand what the matte looks like. So it swatches really nice, and honestly, it does blend beautifully, so I had no problems using it. I will say I still prefer my Natasha Denona mattes to the Terra Moons, but it's still beautiful. Here's another matte. This is Mi Gente, which is a deep green, because the last few colors of these Terra Moon colors are going to be green. I mean, you can see that swatch is stunning. So they don't have a bad matte formula at all, it's just... I feel like the shimmers are so unbeat. All right, we have five more shades to swatch for today's swatch and sip. All greens, let's get it. This one is one of my favorites of this order. This is the shade Callisto. It's a really light green and you can see it has a little bit of almost warm red shimmers to it. Do you guys see that? A little bit of goldenness to it. And it's not flaky at all. It's just a really smooth, creamy formula. What a unique color that is. I don't have another color like that in my collection. You see that shift, right? Green lovers, you're going to die for this shade. This is Dirty Martini. Also, just look at my dirty hands right now. Look at that. Whew. I need to do a green look with these. You can see how creamy that is. So this is more of a shimmer. It has a slight duochrome to it. Really beautiful. So this one is called Icono. It's a very, I don't know, it's a very unique green. I barely touched the pan. It's a little bit more vibrant. It has a really strong yellow base to it. This is also a very unique color in my collection. I love it. I'm like dripping in glitter and I love it. So the next one that we have is Mint Frosting. It's not as minty as it sounds, but it's a really creamy consistency just a really solid shimmer formula hmm, let me dig in a little bit more I use too light of a finger yeah, I guess it does have a little bit of mintiness to it it's really pretty I haven't worn some of these colors before and it's been a while since I swatched them so I'm just I'm dying right now on the inside okay the last one that I'm gonna talk about today is dragonfly Ooh, I feel like so many of you are going to love this color. Oh, wow. wow. I forgot how beautiful this color was. Look at that. What a unique shade. All right, there you have it. These are all of the recent Terra Moons shadows that I picked up in the last couple of months. And then we have the two mattes, but they just, they aren't as pretty as these. Look how dark. I just would like to say, <laughs> look how dark my face is compared to my body. It's because I'm testing out a foundation that's way too dark for me, but I'm, I'm testing out the foundation. I need to give feedback on it, so that's why it's too dark. Because I, I wouldn't go out in public like this. I would go on the internet with my 50,000 subscribers, but I won't go out in public like this because you guys understand anyways. That is it. Those are all of my Terra Moon shadows that I wanted to swatch for today's video. Keep an eye out for Davina and Cleonad. I'm really excited about the Cleonad because I've heard so many good things and they're my newest brand that I'm going to try. And yes, it's true. In many ways, hopefully you could see in this video, Indie kind of does it better. So <laughs> that is all I have for today's video. I just wanted to share with you my love for indie brands and I hope that you will consider supporting these indie brands because they really do create incredible shadows. They've never sent me any of these. These are all, you know, what I spent my own money on and I 100% condone purchasing from these brands. <laughs> if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.
Okay, Jose, you're going to make the thumbnail for me, too. So, I'm going to pose. Make sure I look cute, though. Don't pick the ugly one where I have a double chin. Look how white my neck is. That's why I wore a turtleneck. <laughs> 